Yo, what is going on, y'all? Hope y'all are having a blessed day today. I'm having a pretty good day today. Woke up, my hair's pretty wild, and you know, we're just we're just rocking with it because that's that's what I do. Um, and you know, I was just thinking, I got like eight or nine bikes right now, and so I was like, well, why don't I just go through each one, pull them all out, and go through go through all of them, say the details on each one, and kind of just talk about it. So I got three at my house, and then like five at my grandma's house. So I'm gonna show you the three that are here and then we'll kind of transport over to my grandma's house right after. So let's get it. All right, so I just pulled the three bikes out. Here we go. Get them all stanced up. So these are the first three we're gonna be talking about. First, we got the KTM Supermoto. Next, we got the Honda Grom. Last, we got the Kawasaki Z900. So I'll start with the KTM first. All right, so first thing on the KTM, Pretty much every single thing on this bike is brand new. Um, engine's been worked on. Um, got the uh, new uh, case, new engine case, new guards. Um, it's got the updated like 2016 graphics, um, and it's a supermoto, so it's got the uh, it's got the uh, warp nine. Actually, I don't know if these are warp nine rims. Uh, no, they're not warp nine. They're just some cheap. E I think they're just some cheap eBay ones. Um, but it's got some nice Dunlop uh, tires on, stock exhaust, stock WP shock, um, and then the tires are super fresh on them. Go around it, just kind of give you guys a little rundown. New grips, new bars, and it's, it's electric start too, um, which makes it a lot nicer. Sometimes I like having a kick though. Um, Everything, every case guard, tusk uh, shifter, new rotors, um, brand new sprocket, chain. Literally every every single piece on this bike is brand new and it's it's a nice looking bike. Ooh, it's wrong. Yeah, it's a nice looking bike and it rides like a beast. Um, I'm not too crazy about uh, about super motos. They're just not my type. You got to be a certain type of person. So I'm not too crazy about supermotos, but this thing rips and this thing. This thing's probably one of my most favorite bikes to look at. I'd say one of my favorite bikes to look at. So we'll get it started and we'll see how it runs. So that's the KTM Supermoto 2013 KTM 350 SXF. Let's move on to the Grom now. All right, so next we have the 2014 Honda Grom, the OG as people in the Grom world like to call it because it's the first gen 2014. Um, you know, and this thing is rough. The person I bought it from, you can definitely tell, put it in the dirt, did some dirt stuff with it, and the wrap on it, if you get in detail to it, is actually really trash so it looks it looks like if you guys are looking at this on camera it looks great from a distance but once you get up close to it it looks pretty bad um aftermarket carbon fiber exhaust um the wrap obviously it's got the, the bride seat kind of give you guys a walk around the uh, integrated headlights or the integrated blinkers um yeah and, and then just is kind of rough here and there but it's funny because he painted this side this color and then he wrapped this side this color so he wrapped it and then painted it on one side which i think is kind of funny um you got these little handheld things i don't know what it does integrated uh tail light um and i mean besides that it's pretty much stock i mean you have the rinthal bars pro taper pro taper grips um nothing else you got aftermarket levers like I said, the bride seat, or however you pronounce it. 
I mean, it's a nice looking little bike. It's a fun little bike for sure. Um, definitely, definitely a Honda Grom's not the only bike I could own. It's definitely a bike that I would own with like a with like a bigger bike or a supermoto. It's definitely like the second bike you want, and I, I don't recommend it for people just starting out because I think it's I think it's too slow, not loud enough, and I just I think people need something just a little bit faster to get out of situations if you're not used to riding. But overall, it's a pretty cool bike. We'll, we'll get it started up. I have not started it in a while, so hopefully it will start. We will see. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, she started up. Let's go. Man, my hair is crazy today. It's got such a, a low idle to it, which I love. Give it a little gas. It just hasn't been started in a while. Oh, it looks like it's it's low on fuel, that's why. Yeah, it's got such a low idle too, you can barely even hear it. Oh, it's such a low idle. And actually, why you guys aren't why you guys aren't seeing the chain on here is because it snapped off when I was riding it. And uh I gotta put it back on. I don't even know why it snapped off, it just came off out of nowhere on me. So I gotta I gotta throw it back on. Um, but man, it's got a low idle right now. I think it just needs some gas. But yeah. They normally have a low idle, but this one's super low. The headlights. And for that being like a little cheap, for this being like a little cheap uh, Amazon exhaust, I really like it because it's just a cheap little Amazon exhaust and it sounds just as good as any of the other ones. So, done with this. Let's go to the Kawasaki. Now, the Kawasaki is probably my like most favorite story ever. So I'll, I'll, I'll run down, I'll run it down with you guys first. So it needs this part fixed back here. So I need, I need to get just all new fairings for it. That's, that's what I'm gonna get, end up doing, just getting all new fairings for it. A um, little damage right there, a little dirty, really dirty actually. I uh, got some aftermarket rear sets, um, new case, case cover, but it's all scratched up here. Scratched up here, seats ripped. It's kind of trashed everywhere. So I'm kind of just gonna touch it up, get new fairings on it. Uh, and yeah, the fairing piece right here is missing. Um, but if you step back from it, just like any bike, if you step back from it, it looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's just super dusty right now. Uh, but it, once this thing's gonna, once this thing's fixed up, it's gonna look like a mean beast because these things look so mean. Um, I just I just love the headlight look of them. Um, yeah, and then the fairings cracked, just in the back back here. Um, needs a new front tire for sure. Um, on this side, all scratched up. It looks like they repainted it right here, where it's scratched up, scratched up down here, scratched up on the exhaust. And another thing I really love about these, the one thing I really love about these, is the color of the frame, just the green. I think the green looks so cool on these bikes. I think it's one of the coolest looking colors. I think Kawasaki did good on that. Uh, but now, if you haven't heard the story whenever I picked it up, go back to the video where I picked up this bike. But if you haven't uh, yet, I picked up this bike and it was stolen. It, it, was, it was stolen and the guy that stole it, he was getting chased from the police and when he wrecked, he crashed it. And that's why it's all scratched up and everything, because he because he crashed it. And so sorry, I had to regain my thoughts. But whenever he crashed it, he ran he ran away. He just ditched the bike and ran away. And he left it in this condition. And he thought he was safe because it wasn't his bike, obviously, so it wasn't registered. Nothing was in his name. But he had his phone sitting under the seat. How you can take the seats out. I can't I don't know if it was the front seat or the back seat. But he had his phone sitting in the seat and they they tracked him down because of his phone which i think is the craziest story so he got like two years in jail for that or some something crazy so don't run from the cops um and especially don't leave your phone in the in the seat so yeah if you haven't seen that video go back to that video where i picked it up because the lady explains it and it's 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 really interesting um yeah but other than that and yeah when he did it he changed the ignition so i need to get a whole new ignition also um as you can see he just drilled this out. So I'm using just like, just regular, you can literally start it with any key. So I'm just using like a regular key to start it with. Yeah, but the lady I bought it from, 
she 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 owned the towing company that the police called to tow the bike and so she got it she bought it back from the city or something because she knew someone in the city some, something like that so she bought it from the city and then she slowly it, she said it took like a year to get the title in her name figure everything out and just she slowly started to put it together but she was like it's just too much work for me so i was like all right i'll take it off you for a good price so let's get it started see if we can shove it all the way down there and twist it there we go got it started now i haven't started this one in a while too so it's in first gear there we go now we're in neutral oh the battery's dead battery's dead well all right that's the kawasaki can't get this one to start because the battery's dead um so these are the three bikes 2013 ktm supermoto 2014 honda grom 2017 KT, uh, Kawasaki Z900.